Hey everyone, it's Jessica back with another video for the Pear Tree Cut Files Design Team. Today I'm using the Never Stop Exploring Geotag Cut File and I just love this. Um, I love that it's super large and it fills up my page. Um, I actually didn't mess with the dimension at all. I just cut it whatever Marie had it as the default and I have just cut it out with some white cardstock and then I'm going to use some white cardstock as my background and here I am just manually cutting out a piece of uh, this pattern paper. I think this one's from Echo Park in one of my kits from Not Just For Boys Kit Club to back the file with. So I have just laid my inside piece on top of my pattern paper and just cut out around it, just leaving a little bit of a border so that I have a frame to glue it down. And then I'm just using some liquid glue by Creative Memories to glue this. Um, sometimes I'll use my adhesive by Nuvo as well for this, but um, today I just used what I grabbed, which was that one. So I'm just putting that down. It's not perfect because this actually does not fit inside there perfectly. So I must have had it a little bit off, but it, it lined up fine and um, it worked out just fine. So I'm just laying this down on my cutting mat. I'm going to actually trim out the middle of this circle so that I can pop a photo inside it. So I'm going to grab the um, little circle that goes on the outline of that from my cutting mat. It's still on there. So I've just grabbed that. I'm going to glue that down real quick to the center and then I'll have my finished cut file. That's all I'm gonna do to it as far as gluing things and putting it together. Um, I am actually going to do some ink blending on the letters just to give the letters a little pop of color. Um, but first I have uh, marked out, previously you saw me just use my pencil to mark out a line where my little geotag cut file is gonna go. And then I'm using some Distress Oxides that I'm just blending on with a blending brush. And this is in mustard seed, so it's nice and bright yellow. And I'm just blending that on all around where my cut file is going to sit, just for some color in my layout. And then I'm gonna add some more color, like I said, to my letters of my cut file. So I'm actually just gonna use the negative piece from my cutting mat. It's already still on there, I never pulled it off, so it just gives me a nice base. Um, and I am just using that as some scrap to blend on some Distress Oxide in Bundled Sage to the top portion of my letters. And that's a nice soft green, so I thought this would go perfect to match my photos, which is some photos of us um, on one of our hiking adventures while we were camping. We actually hiked um, about, probably about a mile. It wasn't very far, but it was a mile hiking with toddlers and it was alongside a riverbank or a creek bed, creek bed, <laughs> creek bed. My Pennsylvania slang's coming out, sorry. Um, so it was a little bit difficult for the kiddos and trying to get everybody to navigate through the slippery rocks and everything. Sometimes we had to actually walk in the water, but um, it was really fun and we found a really cute uh, waterfall spot and a swimming hole. So it's a really nice spot that we will definitely visit again sometime when the kids are a little bit older and can actually swim. And so it was a really nice little spot. So yeah, so I thought the green on that cut file would actually bring out the green in my photos. And then I'm just popping the whole thing up with some foam tape. And as you saw me, um, I actually did some splattering as well in my background. I did some splatters on my letters with watering down a paintbrush and just flicking some water onto it because the Distress Oxides actually react with water. So anywhere where you spread that water, it's gonna actually make a white spot and then um, I just dried it off with a paper towel. So here are some smaller photos that I had. I actually just used one of my dies um, in my Big Shot machine to cut out some little Polaroids and I am just gluing the Polaroid down and then cutting out around it so I can get my photo exactly where I want in behind that. I thought if I cut a square out of my photo, I wouldn't get it lined up exactly where I wanted to and I'd mess it up and I didn't want to have to reprint photos again. So I went ahead and just glued it down first and then cut out around it. Um, I do print my photos at home. I know some of you has that, have asked that before. I print my photos myself at home. I have a Canon Pixma printer. It prints, I think, up to like 14 inches wide um, by like 19 or something. I guess the length probably wouldn't really matter, but... Um, I think the biggest that I've ever done is a 13 by 19 size paper, but I think it does up to 14 inches. Um, but I like to use it for 12 by 12 photos too. I print those at home myself also. And I usually print all of my photos on either like a three and a half by five size or a wallet size on my, on my printer. And I think of the wallet size on your computer setting is actually a little bit smaller than uh, two by three, if I remember right. Cause it doesn't fit perfectly in a pocket page. I know that. 
Um, okay, so here I am just using the border piece out of this. I cut the middle out of this um, piece of paper so I can just use the border. And then I'm just using some Easy Tear Tape by Thermoweb to adhere that down to my white piece. I've trimmed my white cardstock down a little bit just so that I could have a border around the edge. And I don't think I distressed the edges on my white. I'll see here in a second. Nope, I didn't. I think I'm actually gonna do some doodling maybe around the white on this just to make that pop out a little bit. So there you can see I have die cut out my uh, photo in the middle of that circle with one of my circle dies by Echo Park. I use the nesting stitched circles dies. I really like those ones, they're my favorites. And um, then I've got all my little cute Polaroids down below. I'm just pulling out a bunch of embellishments from one of my Not Just For Boys kit clubs. Actually, I think I used three, three of their kits. Um, I have three kits laying here that are from Not Just For Boys and I'm just trying to use up a lot of these things from these kits and kind of kill these kits. I have, um, I should just combine them into one because they all seem to match really well with each other. Um, they have greens and blues in all of them. So I've just kind of pulled little bits from each one um, using some pink Fresh Studio stickers and um, I don't know, just lots of random bits. Um, I think some of them might be from Uniquely Creative Cuts, um, just a lot of random bits from these that I'm just trying to use up. So um, this one right here is Pink Fresh. I'm pulling out my Ellie Studio stamp set here. This is the Icon stamp set, and I am just going to grab one of these and make a little, um, a little camera stamp on that circle. And then that's going to go right here by my photos. I'm just gonna add a few more embellishments. I feel like it's still kind of naked and plain, so I just wanna add a few more things to this. I wanna add some things on the left and right of my photos. And um, that little ditty, that Take a Hike, is um, from another collection that actually one of my friends gifted to me. Um, I think it's from One Two Canoe or something like that. And I just popped that down along with the camera. I'm just adding little bits, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to stash bust and kind of use up things that I have. where I'm gonna add that doodling around my page border there, as you can see. And then I'm just going to do some doodling around that center photo as well, just to give it a little bit of a pop, something just different. And then I'm gonna grab some pear tree pieces. Um, these are some bits from, they were like an explore bundle that I got a while back. Um, so I don't think they're in the shop anymore, but I'm trying to use a lot of these things up that I have instead of buying new all the time and trying to do some stash busting. So 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna add a few of those on here. Remember to pull the backing off because sometimes there is a little backing piece on there before you glue it down. And I'm just using that liquid Nouveau glue for those. And I'm gonna add some sequins too. So I'm gonna pull up my sequin tool here in a second and add some sequins to this layout as well. There, you can see I've added all my sequins on there. I've put some in between my letters as well to kind of just make them pop and give them a little bit of extra sparkle on there too. I've added my date stamp there to the bottom and I have added a couple more things and here's the finished layout. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this process video today. I will link the cut file below in case you want to grab it from the shop. And thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.